Hey there gang and welcome to your very first Pinya with Firestore tutorial. Alright then gang, so in this course you're going to learn how to use Pinya, which is a state management solution for Nuxt and Vue, alongside Firestore, which is a real-time hosted database provided by Firebase. And to demonstrate how these two things can work together, we'll be making a simple habit tracker application where you can add new habits and you can see those appear in real time on the page. You can also delete them, which updates the app in real time too. And finally, you can complete habits each day by clicking on this checkbox. And when you do that, you're going to see your streak for that day, for that habit, sorry, increase by one. So the overall idea of this app is to list all of your habits you want to implement and then you can check them off each day as you complete them and just increase your streak as you go. If you miss a day for a habit though, the streak for that habit is going to reset the next time you complete it. So then all of the state in this application is managed using a Pinya store and it's persisted in a Firestore database. So if I refresh the page, I still see all the same up to date data. The way this works under the hood is that every time we perform some kind of action which updates the state of the application locally, like adding a new habit or completing a habit, we do two things. First, we update the state within the Pinya store, which causes the UI to update in any components which consume that store state. And second, we persist those state changes to the Firestore database as well, so that the next time we load the application, we get that up-to-date fresh data. Now, before you start, I want to make one thing clear. This is not a beginner Nuxt course or really a beginner Pinya course or even a beginner Firebase course. <laughs> Ideally, you should already know the basics of at least Nuxt and Pinya. And I will be assuming those foundations in the rest of this series. Now, if you want to learn Nuxt and Pinya from the ground up, I have a Nuxt crash course you can take and also a Pinya crash course as well. You can get both of those on the netninja.dev website and also on the YouTube channel. I've also done a Pinya with Nuxt course too, which you can find only on the netninja.dev website. So I'm going to leave a link to all three of these courses down below the video. On top of that, if you do have any kind of background or knowledge in Firebase, it's going to be extremely beneficial as well. But if you don't, don't worry, I will explain everything. Okay then, so we're going to start by making a brand new Nuxt project. So in a terminal, navigate to a directory you want to create this in and then type npx nuxy at latest init. And you follow that by whatever you want to call this project. I'm going to call it habits app or one word, and then I'm going to press enter. So when you do that, it's going to ask you what tool you'd like to use as a package manager for this project. Now, I've had several issues when I use NPM with Nuxt and Pinya together. So I always use Yarn to install all my dependencies instead. So I'll select Yarn and hit enter. All right, cool. So now that's finished, I'm going to CD into that new directory, Habits app. And then I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code by typing code, then a full stop, then enter. And have that right now over here. So let me say yes, click that off, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. All right then, so this is now the Nuxt starter project. So it comes with a little bit of setup and this root component right here. So what I'd like to do is, first of all, just install Tailwind because I'll be using Tailwind classes just to style our components later. So let's open up a terminal, and we're going to do this by saying yarn and then add then it's a dev dependency, and then we'll say at nuxt.js forward slash tailwind CSS. And then we just need to press enter to install this. And then once we've done that, when it's installed, you can go to the nuxt config file, and you want to come down here and add in a modules property. And this is going to be an array. And then we just need to add at nuxt js forward slash tailwind css and press save all right then so next up i'd like to create a couple of components and a page with some templates just so they're all ready for later when we hook up our pinya store and fire store so let's create a new folder over here first of all called components and this is where any kind of dropping components are going to live inside here i'm going to create a new file and this one will be for a form to add a new habit so we'll call it habit form dot view and we'll also create another component and this will be for listing the habits so we'll call this habit list dot view all right so let's now just copy from my 
course files over here, by the way, which I've left a link to down below. I'm going to paste in the habit form, first of all, and I'll go through these in a second, but then I'm going to grab my habit view and uh, sorry, habit list file and paste that in. Okay. So let's have a look at these. We have the habit form and it's just a form with this handle submit function to handle the submit event and we apply some Tailwind classes to it. Now we have one input right here and that is the input to add a new habit. And we have a V model set up and it's linked to this thing right here, this ref called name. So we're tracking what a user types into this input field. Type is text, then a placeholder, and again, some Tailwind classes. Then we have a button to submit the form with some classes and that's all it is in the template. So we have this ref right here, the name, of the habit we wanna add. And then this is what we're doing at the moment when we submit the form. It's an asynchronous function, but there's nothing asynchronous in here at the moment. That will come later. All we're doing is checking if the name has a value after we trim off the white space, and then we're logging that to the console. Once we've done that, we reset the name value to be an empty string again, and that empties the input so that a user can add in a new habit. Okay, so that's all we're doing at the moment. Nothing fancy. The habit list over here, is basically a UL and LI tags inside that with a bunch of Tailwind classes. Inside each LI tag, we're gonna have a div right here for the habit name and also a delete button for that habit. Below that, we've got another div for an input, which is a checkbox. And this is what we're gonna be checking when we want to complete or undo the completion of a particular habit. And it says next to that checkbox, I did this today, so you know whether you need to check it or not. Down here is where we output the streak as well. So we just have one LI right here, but later when we have a whole bunch of different habits, we'll be outputting this LI tag for each one and actually putting out the data rather than just hard coding this text right here. Now down here, there's nothing in the script. Okay, cool. So we've done the two components. The only other thing I wanna do is create a pages folder and then inside here an index, we can spell it, dot view file for the index page. And again, I'm just going to grab this from my repo if I can find it. Okay. And I'm going to paste it in right here. So let's have a little look at this. We have a div right here, then an H1 inside that for the title of the site habit tracker. And then all we do is output the habit form component, this one, and then the habit list component beneath that. And we import those right here. Then we just apply this style to the background. Awesome. So that's pretty much it. That is the index page. So the only page in the application and then these two components which are nested inside the index page. All right, so we do actually need to go to the app.view file because currently this is not gonna show in the browser because all we're doing here is outputting these built-in components which is kind of the boilerplate Nuxt content that comes with a fresh installation. Instead, we wanna output the Nuxt page component like so. And now when we go to just localhost port 3000, it's gonna show the index page, the home page, which then shows these two components, all right? Okay, cool, so now let's try viewing this in a browser. And by the way, all this stuff I copied from the course files, I am gonna leave a link to the course files down below this video, but let me just bring them over here. If we go to Pinya with Firestore, we can see we have different branches and each branch is for a different lesson in the series. So all of the start code I've just pasted in, that comes from the lesson one branch, which is what we're on. And you can grab them from the components file, the pages file, etc. But if you want the code for a different lesson, you can go to that lesson. You can see all that code here. You can also download a zip folder of that lesson as well. Anyway, now let's try running this in a browser. So I'm gonna open up a terminal. I'm gonna clear this. And then I'm gonna type yarn dev to spin up the dev server and view this in a browser. And we can see right here, it's localhost port 3001. Should be 3000, but I think I've got another version of this <laughs> up and running as well. So it's 3001 for me, should be 3000 for you. So just visit this in your browser now. And it should look something like this in a browser now. Now, nothing really works here when we click on these things, but remember when we submit the form, it should log the value of this input to the console. So let's open up the console and type in a new habit, code daily, and press add habit. We see that right here, and notice this also clears so we can add a new habit. 
So there we go, we have our starter project up and running. And now in the next lesson, we're gonna set up Firebase to work with this application.